you talk about converting winning positions and, you know, mistakes such as poor trading. So maybe you could tell us about that a little bit. Yes. So this is like if you've got a, a position that's as a very big advantage and with best play should be uh, should be a win, basically, with best play, best play for both sides. Um, and uh, either, a, either a middle game or an end game uh, position. And the sort of things, uh, I mean, I think probably the best advice I can give, if let's say you're material ahead, the best advice I can give is generally try to play the position still to the demands of the position as if you're not material ahead, as if you're, you're still your, as if you're level. So still try and basically um, play what you believe the strategically best decisions. Um, so, um, so the, the uh, for example, if you're a common mistake is simply just exchanging pieces. And I think I'll give an example. Where I was a queen up, queen for two pieces up, wasn't I? And I just, I just swapped my bishop for the knight and then realized actually that wasn't a good idea. Um, <laughs> I can't believe I did it now, basically. But um, yeah, I just, and I just left him with two lovely bishops and I had no darn square control and I couldn't even, I couldn't even couldn't do anything. We just agreed to draw 20 moves later. Um, so that was an example of just poor trading. Um, and the way you should view it when is like uh, actually think about what exchanges are fair. I mean, they, they obviously the advice you everyone gets when they're younger is when you're up, exchange pieces. Yeah, 